So in this video, I will share with you how to activate your breakout room function in your Zoom account. The breakout room function is so important, especially if you're having a large group meeting and if you want it to be interactive. Instead of just the host talking and then everyone is listening, it's great if you break out people into small groups and then they have their own uh, few activities and interaction so that, again, the, the hosts get to rest. And at the same time, it's more fun. It's more engaging. It will not just be a boring one hour or two hour talk, but everyone can be engaged. They can answer some questions. They can share their learnings. So I'm here in my Zoom account. And once you log into Zoom, uh, you go to zoom.us and then you click to my account. And then after clicking to my account, you, you will go to your dashboard like this. So if you go to, the, to your dashboard, on the left side, you will see account management. You just click the arrow and then click to account settings. So once you click to the account settings, you will be brought into this page. And this will be a very long page wherein you can really do a lot for your uh, your settings of the account, of your account, the settings of your account. So all you need to do is just, you know, hover down below. There's a lot of features that you can do and you can look at. And then you just need to look for that one, the one that um, you can, the, where you can activate the breakout room feature. So it's all the way down below. Right, you can have a co-host, right, screen sharing. And more importantly, in meeting, as you can see in the in meeting section, you will see the breakout room. It's you, it will be closed, like it will be turned off like that. But what you need to do is again, you have to turn it on. So once you turn it on, now you can now split participants into smaller rooms. For example, you have 50 participants and then you need to just have 10 groups of five participants each. That's what you can do. So let us go to our Zoom account. Now going back, what you can do is in here, there's in your Zoom panel, there's actually a triple dot button that says more. So you can just search on your uh, on your panel, on your control panel of your Zoom account while you're already in meeting. All right, so where, while, while you're already in meeting, there's a triple dot here that says more and then there will be a drop down and it will say breakout rooms. And once you click breakout rooms, you will be prompted to distribute people in your group. So if you have different participants, let me share it to you. This is like this. You'll be having an option inside the Zoom to ask you um, assign the certain number of participants, let's say it's 50, into how many rooms? Let's say if you put 10, then 50 divided by 10, it will put five participants each per room. So you have the option to do it automatically or manually. Um, most of the time, we just want it to, do, to be random. So just click automatically and then click create breakout rooms. So that's it. And the, that's about the time that you can now um, enjoy having a few activities while having a big meeting or you're having a good presentation. I'm using this when I'm uh, invited with, with a large group presentation and then I have enough time for the, the, the presentation and the meeting to be engaging. I would want uh, everyone to do that breakout session. So that's it for today. If you like this video, just subscribe to my YouTube channel and then also like this video as well and um, turn on the notification bell so that you will be prompted every time that I have a new video for you. So that's it and see you next time.